Halo Universe Series 2 blind bags. In all their glory, there's been a lot of hype built around these, and they don't disappoint. They're absolutely incredible. Which is why I've got 50 of them. <laughs> Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. I want to clarify, first of all, these are not all for me. They're to be distributed across the UK to a lot of collectors who need them the most, and they were purchased sustainably in America, i.e. they were never purchased in their entirety from a box. One of our friends scoured a lot of different targets and would always leave at least one of each figure in their box. And we've got 50. 50 of them and apparently we're gonna do all this in one go, which is absolutely absurd I've never opened 50 blind bags in one go before but I gotta open them and then send them off to friends around the UK and they look fantastic, don't they? I actually reviewed uh, these blind bags about a year ago in Seattle, or actually Portland, Oregon, at my friend Kevin Hurd's house. It's a really good series, it really is. And this won't be an evenly distributed series, there are way more f of certain figures than others, but let's see what we get in our first one, eh? Ahaha! A Halo Marine. And yes, this is going to be an easy blind bag series to open because they all come pre-built. There's our little guy. And statistically, it was quite likely we were going to open one in our first bag because we have a lot of these Marines today. First Jenkins <laughs> ready for combat. I'm just laughing because of how many there's going to be by the end of this video. It's actually absurd. Play along every time uh, I'm about to open one. Just uh, close your eyes and predict what it's going to be. Why not? Number two, there it is. Now, when this was first announced, you know, there was a lot of hype already because EOD is a fan favorite. That lime green's amazing. But what is this little study piece? What, 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 is, what does this do, I wonder? It inserts into the back of his torso. There we go. And then... Ooh, buddy. Xbox. The original Xbox backpack. So this was for the 20th anniversary of Halo and Xbox. And it was given away in MCC in the Master Chief Collection for just doing some very basic challenges. And even this Mauler actually has some speckled effect to it. It's quite nice. And you know me, I always love when the limbs uh, orientate between colors. Like we've got lime green into black and the black matches the jumpsuit. And even that silver on his visor. Ooh. That is a really clean figure. All of the figures in this are very clean. I think the Promethean kind of has like a weird kind of lipstick problem to it. But that's a problem for later. So we're opening 50 today, right? Why don't you predict down below what we're going to get from each one? <laughs> it will be a little more ridiculous than you think. There we are. Very nice. So rarity wise, we've got the Flood and the EOD, the Marina's Commons. We've got the Spartan Promethean Soldier as Uncommons. And the Grunt is the Ultra Rare. Let me know what you think about the Grunt being the Ultra Rare. Um, I, I prefer it not. I don't want it to be the Common. Like, I think these rarities are pretty spot on. There's our Promethean. So it's it's good, but the, the, the red lipstick is a little bit jarring to me, but it's not that bad. And it's been a while since we got a Promethean, so it's nice to see that Mega's still keeping it in the molding inventory, even though it's not, you know, been in a game. Land bag number four. We're gonna start. Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Did I? Oh, I did. Oh no, I cut into one of the flood. Uh, no, I mean it is flood, so it, it can be random, but yeah, I legitimately just cut that in half. It's really nice that we actually get uh, six of this popcorn. We got five in the Clash on the Ring, so they've actually scaled it up by one. And they're all different colors, which is perfect. So really nice to see, but oh my goodness, one of them has a slightly different tentacle now because I cut it. <laughs> Oh no. I need to be way more careful when I'm opening Flood, I guess. Hey, more Flood. We're gonna run out of space, like, pretty much immediately. We bought these slowly over time, and they're being distributed in the UK. I'm, I'm actually keeping, I'm keeping one full set, and the next one is another Marine. And this is where the opening can really speed up, because they literally just fall out the bag, and they're ready to go. In terms of timing that speed build, <laughs> that's like five seconds. Aha, this one feels squishy. There is some more floody boys. Move these slides. Gosh, there's so many blind bags. I think all the flood are bundled together here. One uh, really big positive I've seen from Mega recently is they've actually started to produce biodegradable packaging. It first came out in the Tesla Cybertruck. I know it came in the Hornet. I don't know how they do it with blind bags, but I hope they can do it somehow. Hey, a Promethean soldier. Nice to get different colored base plates as well. It's just a simple, easy touch. It goes a long way. It's nice. This Marine is honestly like one of the most detailed figures Mega's released in the past couple of years. And I said that in my original review. I'll say it now. The amount of speckled detailing on his under 
undersuit. I love that light gray. The light gray actually matches the new lights of Sanghelios and Elite Honor Guard. I just love the figure. I love everything about it. And that's, uh, how many have we opened now? That's about, with the flood, I'd say about 10, maybe 11. Ah, another Marine. <laughs> like I said, the uh, end result will not be even. <laughs> Spoilers. Next one, we got the flood. All right. This video will actually be releasing while I'm on holiday in Morocco. I'm just going to throw this flood in our little flood graveyard over there. <laughs> when I originally thought, hmm, maybe I could open all 50 at once, I was like, is that not going to be just a monstrous video to not only like edit and get out before I uh, leave for Morocco, but also just, well, yeah, just the size of the video project. But no, it's reasonable. It's reasonable. I swear the flood is probably the thing that takes the longest. Let's take from another pile now. Make sure we're not just opening flood. <laughs> I say that and then I get more flood. I'm not going to lie to you guys. There's a lot of flood in this video. Yeah, it's so good to see the flood come back in full force. We got Trex's factory flood, the marine flood from the new Halo Heroes. Right, let's open something that isn't flood, eh? Hey, another EOD. <laughs> yep, same as the other one. Seems to be a little difficult to get him. Man, he just got impaled through the back. That must have been painful. Xbox startup sound for you. Beautiful. Hey, another Prometheus. And the detail is looking really great on all of these. There we go, more flood. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of flood. Three Marines, two EODs, and then three Prometheans. Oh, we've actually got another Marine hiding back there. Let's keep on going. There ain't no stopping us now. We gotta get a move on. Only 18 minutes left of storage space on my camera. And you never want a video project to be shared between two SD cards. That's just a pain. Next one, a Marine. Oh, wow. Look, this one didn't actually come complete. That's pretty cool. <laughs> come on, you can stay put. There we go. I just thought, oh, hello. Whoa. Hello there. Wow, what? we've got our canonical what? Billy the Grunt. Dude, shout out to Billy the Grunt. What an absolute legend. Yeah. This looks so good. There might be more than one, I'm not quite sure. Here we go, more floody boys. That flood pile is starting to be, I'm gonna have to make some sort of YouTube short about that because that is looking monstrous. <laughs> I got some really exciting plans, guys. Let me tell you, some big stuff in July. If you retroactively watch this and it's after July, you'll be like, oh dang, that's what he was talking about. Some big, big things happening in July. Woo! Another EOD. Look at that. And the speckling and the glassed effect on figures and weapons always leads to everyone looking slightly different, ever so slightly different. You look so good on my camera, EOD. One of the main big changes that I'm looking forward to is come July, I will have a brand new camera and we will up the quality of this channel so much. That is fiddly. Go on. There we go. Okay, Xbox startup sound. When I did my original blind bag opening of these, the Xbox uh, was upside down on the EOD and I just never noticed in any of the editing or the thumbnail production or anything. And in true irony, as I'm filming this video, I put the Xbox upside down. <laughs> like. I've learned nothing. Next one, more floody boys. I feel like there might only be one grunt. I'm not entirely sure. Of course, I'm, I'm building up slowly a, a nice collection of of uh, UK-based Halo collectors. Hey, it's the Spartan Soldier. And that's the first one. Uh, soldier? No, Warrior. Spartan Warrior, and that's the first one we've got. Uh, yeah, and the speckling effect means that everyone will look ever so slightly different. Comes with this really odd, like, cream railgun, which, I mean, I kind of respect. I don't mind it. And a black base plate. Basically black. Kind of difficult to tell in this multicolored lighting effects. Let me know if you actually like the light. It feels like it might be another grunt. Maybe not bulky enough. Aha, another EOD with backpack. Urgh. Yeah, shout out to the guy who got all of these for us. I'd love to uh, shout him out properly, but I know he knows who he is. I just don't want to shout him out properly in case everyone then starts messaging him on Facebook. Like, please, can you get me these blind bags? This is truly a black base plate. The Spartan was a bit different. Okay, Xbox startup sound. Very nice. We've got a lot left. I think I'm probably gonna run out of storage space on this before we finish. And yeah, the uh, the helmets remove on all the Marines now. I think the only Marine we're really missing is uh, pretty much Halo Reach now. Another Marine. It would be cool if Mega was able to make multiple skin colors, multiple skin tones that were available just randomly throughout these bags. Oh <laughs> wow, three Marines in a row. We're on a Marine spree, guys. But can we get a fourth Marine in a row? Oh. Another Spartan soldier, interesting. I thought maybe we only had one of these, but here's a second. Apologies if uh, occasionally everything's not in focus for a little bit of time. There's a lot to focus on, a lot of things to do <laughs> when you're opening blind bags. A surprise amount to think about. Next one. Whoa, okay, well we broke our streak. Whoa, there's another one. I know these are primarily 
marines and flood. Nice packaging as well. Okay, that's three, guys. That's three marines in a row. That means we just need one more and we've got our four in a row. We'll have finally got our streak. I'm feeling this one. Hey, there we go. Four marines in a row. <laughs> that currently brings our total to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve marines. And I do just want to note one more time, these were not all bought from one store. My friend who bought these was actually super considerate. That's five in a row. Super considerate. It took him a long time to find all these because he went to multiple stores and he always left at least one of each figure in the box. A really sustainable way of doing it. Really inclusive way of doing Our it. Our top marine streak is five. Based on the amount of figures left, I don't think we're going to break that streak again, but that's quite all right. This camera, it's 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 a good camera, but uh, it, its focus is not amazing because it'll just start focusing on the background almost immediately and then take a long time to refocus. Okay, more flood. I've always wanted to do some kind of like competition where people can uh, speed, like it's a, it's like a blind bag speed build or something. Everyone films themselves speed building blind bags. Of course, it would not work with these ones. Oh, no, we're going to have an avalanche here. Little quick update there. Whoa. That is a lot of figures. Let's keep on going. Some more floody boys. I know a lot of people who are uh, like subscribed to the channel now, maybe they've never actually ever been able to get flood because the aftermarket value is so high now. It's good if there's some things that in aftermarket are super expensive, but then that's why Mega just has to keep on releasing things, like keep on re-releasing famous characters and things. So the really important stuff people can always get hold of. There it is. I'm looking forward to the Elephant Sand Nest with an expected release of this fall. I mean, it was delayed from last year to this year because they wanted to make sure they got production right, which I'm all about. You need to delay things for as long as it needs to be delayed for until you can really nail the product. So technically, if we got four Marines in a row now, we'd break our streak and we get six. But I mean, there's a third Marine, so we're halfway. Also, these Marines do not come with backpacks, but I mean, it's okay. These are meant to be cheap, affordable figures. Oh, wow. Okay, that's four. If we get two more in a row, that means we have broken our record, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey, it's number five. This is a huge, huge marine army at this point. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wait, is that five or six? Hey. <laughs> okay, either we broke our record last time and now we've smashed our record, or we've just broken our record. Either way, we've broken our record. Sergeant Johnson would be seriously proud. Another floody boys. Another set of flood. I kind of, uh, I preemptively sort of squeezed that one a little bit, realized it was flood, and then went easy on the cutting. You do not want to cut these flood. Even if you damage another figure, I guess it can be battle damaged. Add that to the pile. Another marine, eh? <laughs> this is a marine army. This is the biggest marine army I've, uh, Actually, no, that's not true. In Hong Kong, I bought like almost a hundred Marines. Hey, another Marine. Okay. Good detailing on the heads. Nothing to complain about there. Another Marine. Final one. What do we, oh, wait. Oh, that's an empty packet. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of figures. Let's organize them and check it out. Bom, 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 bom. Bom, 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 bom. Look at this. I am so happy with this. this is just this is just outrageous. This is just absolutely outrageous. So we have 20 four marines, four prometheans, two soldiers, four EODs, one grunt and I don't even know, man. <laughs> I haven't counted but a stupid amount of flood. And I'm just looking forward to getting a load of these two different friends across the UK. So shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. Hope you subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. The flood in all of their disgusting glory are signing off.